Atheist Republic interviewed about Hindutva by a German humanist magazine. Um, if you guys Good can think of a better title for this segment, this. please let me know. So <laughs> basically, I was recently interviewed by, um, I can't even say the name of it right. <laughs> the uh, okay. Germany's I'm gonna call biggest it H humanist. H yeah, this is like Germany's biggest humanist publication. Um, and I can't pronounce the name of it right. It's So I'm going to call it HPD for short. Um, so I was recently interviewed by HPD. And I had a really fun time talking to the writer of this article, Adrian. And we spoke for like hours about Hindutva and what's going on in India and the rise of religious intolerance, the rise in the crackdown on free expression, and also how what Atheist Republic has been going through in um, regards to our battles in India. Um, so I really encourage you guys to check out this article. I put the link to it um, in the description, or you could Oops. But it's in um, German. Should I do Google Translate? Okay. No, but here's the thing. The Google Translate is actually pretty good. So when I really? did Google Translate into English, I don't know if the mm -hmm. what the translation is like in other languages, but when I translated the German to English, it was actually like pretty decent. You can get mm -hmm. the meaning of what I was saying. Like we talk about love jihad. We talk about the, the hate speeches that were given in the beginning of the year. Um, and yeah it was it was a lot of fun um oh people are giving me congratulations yeah. that's really sweet yeah there's so um, many like look at this yay <laughs> so many oh boss lady susie. um boss lady susie yeah it was a lot of fun i think it was really interesting for me to um talk to someone from germany about this issue because when i was explaining this to him and then when he went to go like read about it himself who's basically like holy shit like from the perspective <laughs> of a german obviously going through world war ii they're like this is deeply concerning and i can't believe more people aren't talking about this so i know right? <laughs> um i really enjoyed this from the perspective of like I, I love to see more people talking about this getting this coverage and i think it really like sparked an idea or interest um with the guy i was talking to about covering this issue more and more um yeah what a beautiful it was, picture it was a lot of fun yeah that actually is a nice beautiful. picture yeah look at all the yeah. colors look at the job and everything yeah yeah um, i just hate the guys in those pictures on the car but <laughs> yeah it's a nice picture oh um, look blasphemous art there's a link blasphemous art here or mentioned oh look at the atheist yes Republic and he also really says how to support our legal fund which is very nice oh my god thank you so much for that that's fantastic um so yeah i had an absolute joy speaking to adrian and i hope you guys go check out the article the auto translation is actually like very workable and let me know what you think let me know uh yeah what you think about what i had to say it'd be interesting really this is really good work Susie. good job by the way this is really good you're getting the word like this is something that needs a lot more attention and i can't think of anyone better to like go and talk to people about this. Like you are doing such a good job bringing more attention to this, to, to such a violation of human rights and mm -hmm. secularism, like so important. And, you know, a lot of humanist groups are not even aware of the existence of these issues in like the second largest country in the world by population. Crazy. Right? So the fact that you're doing this, you're bringing, I, I mean, the, the people that read these kind of publications are like people that are like up, you know, higher ups, like when it comes to, um, you know, a society. So maybe the fact that this is being put in front of them is important. So good job. Thank you for doing this. Oh, well, of course, yeah. you know, it was really fun talking to him because as I was speaking, like it, I was hearing myself and it made me realize how much of this information I have just absorbed at this point. <laughs> Because <laughs> just hearing myself like repeat back instance upon instance upon instance, I was like, holy cow, like I keep it all locked in here. <laughs> um oh, you guys have the sweetest comments. One you highlighted comment. something. 
You highlighted the comment by oxymoron. That's very interesting. Highlight that. Yeah. So oxymoron is saying, although it's celebrating our collective humiliation, I'm still happy for you, Susie. <laughs> <laughs> so not, I'm very curious oh. about this comment because Oxymoron actually is a Hindutva supporter, so I'm not exactly sure from which perspective he is expressing the collective humiliation. But I don't know if you're speaking I, from the sense of like an Indian citizen unhappy with this the image that this gives India. Like I think that the country can certainly come through this. Like I have faith in that. There just has to be the willingness and there has to be the right incentives and there has to be the right people in power to actually put a stop to it. Um, yeah, it doesn't, it do, I, this doesn't have this, this, this whole saga, this whole period of Indian history does not have to end in collective humiliation. I mean, even if India goes to crap like completely, which I don't think it will because I'm very optimistic about India's future. I'm I, I'm interested to see the different perspective that Oxymoron and Susanna have, okay, uh, when it comes to how they feel about stories like this, okay? Because mm -hmm. I think Oxymoron used to be, even though he still have a collect has a collectivist mindset, I think he he it's less than before. I think he is becoming more aware of looking at becoming more individualistic. I, I know he has still a far way to go, but like even today, for example. If you've noticed, like Oxymoron, just to make it more um, clear to you the way that we look at things, right? Like when we attack United States, or, you know, United States politics or things that are b happening bad, like you guys, Susanna never feels like anybody is attacking her, right? Like when we point oh, out, like, yeah. the, like it doesn't even cross her mind that this no. is an attack on her, right? <laughs> Like every time we have a story like, oh my God, this is a horrible thing in the United States. It, the last thing that on Susanna's mind is like, oh my God, people are like saying bad things about me. Okay. But people with collectivist mindset, when we like criticize India, if you have a collectivist mindset and you're Indian, you kind of feel like somebody is targeting you mm -hmm. like, or your collective and you feel like you're being attacked and you become defensive about it. Okay. So that's, I, I just want you to be notice how different this is because even in the reactions, you could notice that. Like when we point out something bad in India, if you are like Canadian or American, you're like, well, in America, okay, as if as if you took a stab at them, you took a punch at them, and now they want to take a punch at you, as if like as if you talking about problems in, in America is a reaction to that individual American, as if that individual American, you know, like. But we don't think like that. Like the pe people who are, who are who don't have this collectivist mindset, they don't feel like, like if, if, for example, if you attack Canada, I don't think like you're attacking me. Like, and I also spend a lot of time attacking problems in Iran, right? So as an Iranian, so this is not how we think. Um, and this is useful, okay? This is useful <laughs> to, yeah, what? Did he say something? Oxymoron is clarifying that the, you know, although this is celebrating our collective book, <laughs> humiliation he's saying I, that that was a joke i know okay obviously it was a joke but but i'm pointing out is something that i'm noticing the entire yeah. uh, all the time. like this is a reference to like earlier today you know what i mean like okay so you, you know like it's something that, that i'm noticing you growing the fact that you joke about these things because you oxymoron you were originally a lot more defensive about this so I just want you to notice that. Like, have Susie, have you not noticed that? Like, he was, he used to be more defensive about us talking about Oh my about God, India I've noticed a lot of growth. A yeah. lot of growth. It's been awesome. Like, us, for example, I don't think, Oxymoron, correct me if I'm wrong. Like, you're saying, you're joking about this right now, okay? But you can, right now, you're saying you're happy for Susie. But a year ago, I, I think if you've seen us, having a publication like this about India, which doesn't show India in a good light, do you agree that you probably wouldn't be joking about it? Like you wouldn't be receiving it as well as you're receiving it today? Like, do you not notice the difference? Because I think I've noticed a, a change. And if, if, if I'm right about this, if Oxymoron is able to now joke about it and even congratulate Susie about an article like this, and he wasn't able to do that like a year ago, uh, to me, it suggests that collectivism, because sometimes I like I look at people with collectivist mindset and I think like I'm looking at a brick wall like that you can't go through. Right. Same. But 
but I don't know if I see that oxymoron can change to to go to the point of like seeing an article like this, not getting butthurt over it, and even joking about it. That means like you know this is po it's possible. There's possible to go from a collectivist mindset to a more individualist mindset. And I think oxymoron That's a very sees very positive I, attitude, Armin. I like. Yeah, that. I think, and I think oxymoron actually these days sees himself more closer to us, maybe even. You know what I mean? Like, which shows like we don't share any collectivist. Um, any collective um, similarities with Aksimora, right? But I think he sees himself as part of this community, right? Like, I'm Iranian Canadian, Susanna is American, and she has like Scottish and Irish heritage. Aksimora is a Hindutva Indian. So there's nothing that we share here that could be considered a collective, but we but all three of us are part of this community now called the Atheist Republic. So we don't have to have these similarities for us to be able to work with each other and be with each other and see ourselves as part of this the work that we're doing here right so just noticing that i think it's useful anyways i like that, you like that? <laughs> atheist republic needs your help we have been the target of many legal attacks by hindu nationalists ever since our founder armin Abhabi blasphemed against hindu deities we have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.